So, you know, today I went thrifting. I like to go thrifting. I don't know what it is about <clears throat> looking through other people's crap. It, it relaxes me. And then I find goodies in the process. So today I'm going to, I'm going to share with you something I got, and then I'm, it, it's quite, quite, and it's going to be quite entertaining. It's the, it's the Random House Book of Etiquette. And I haven't seen the date, but it looks like it's from the 60s, I want to say. Let's see here. Let's just see. Volume 1. Hold on. I'm going to pick something every day from the copyright 1967, 1950, and 1956. Hmm. Apparently, let's see. Today, I, I just randomly picked something to read. I'm going to read from the book of etiquette for you all so we can all learn how to act properly. And today, we're going to, I'm going to read from um, the thing that says here. It says, uh, drinking etiquette. It might come in handy for some of us. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. The vast majority of us are neither teetotalers. What is a teetotaler? Never heard of that. Nor alcoholics, really, but merely social drinkers. Hmm. And for social drinking, there is an etiquette based on custom and manners, just as there is for our other social activities. I wasn't aware. Let's read on, shall we? There are two basic points of drinking etiquette. One, moderation. The only socially acceptable degree of tightness is the pleasant, friendly stage you reach. I like how they put that. When you've had however many drinks it takes to get you there. Hmm. It is rude and sometimes foolish, dangerous, undignified, or disgusting ever to drink more than that, it says. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Immoderate drinking and two drinks or ten may be immoderate for you. Makes people surely unruly, loud, belligerent, Silly or unduly amorous. My goodness. A lady or gentleman should obviously never be seen in any of these states, it says, boasting about how much you can drink or insisting on drinking drink for drink along with other people when you can't handle it or, let me hold on, i got to turn the page, it's getting good, or immature, if not childish traits, it says, Oh, drinking is a pleasant social habit, relaxing and friendly, but it can be spoiled for everyone if there's a persistent drunk around. Oh, my. In general, everyone has to gauge his own capacity. Our advice is at the slightest hint of becoming lightheaded, dizzy, or noisy, stop drinking. Hmm. This way you... You not only enjoy your own before dinner cocktails, but permit others to enjoy theirs too. Number two, you don't have to drink. Oh my goodness, this could be a problem. It says, it is never rude to refuse a drink. Hmm. A simple no thank you should be plenty, it says. Hmm. If your host should press you in Parentheses, it says, in which case he isn't being very polite. Parentheses, you can always say thanks, no, but I'd love some tomato juice or a Coke if you have some. Good Lord, who drinks tomato juice? Okay, if you want to explain to good friends that you are on the wagon <laughs> or that the stuff doesn't agree with you or that the doctors just banned all alcohol, that's up to you. The important points are, first, it is never rude to refuse a drink. Second, it is perfectly polite to ask for a non-alcoholic substitute. <clears throat> okay, oh, well, let's read on to not, oh, uh, wait. Oh, important points, less important points. And now for the less important points. Let's see what those are. Hmm, you shouldn't ask for or help yourself to a drink in anyone else's house. <laughs> what? <laughs> Those sound like my friends. Anyways, hmm, even if the liquor and fixings are standing on the table. Holy moly. 
That's not cool. All right, two, you should never ask for a second drink unless the host is a close friend. Hmm. Whatever. Okay, number three, you shouldn't ask for a different drink f from the one being served unless you uh, want a non-alcoholic substitute. So I guess you can't go from tequila to, to vodka and orange juice. All right. Didn't know that. Let's skip a little of this. Oh, here it says in quotes, just to give you an example. Would you like some whiskey instead? And then you can accept. Well, that's if they ask you. Mm. Otherwise, you should just drink the cocktail and politely decline. Number four, be considerate of your hostess's furniture. If coasters are provided, by all means, use them. And if they are not, rest your drink on a magazine or paper. 